people on YouTube, it's Catfine Jedi, and it's that time of year again! It's that time of year when some crazies get their testicles in a twist and have to attack the nearest embassy! This year's offender is The Innocence of Muslims, directed by Sam Basile. Which, if you don't know what this is and you've been living under a rock, it's a poorly directed, badly filmed, horribly acted, anti-Muslim film that somehow's trailer sneaked its way onto YouTube and then got dubbed into some kind of Arabic and now everybody's going crazy! Now like a lot of these incidents, the thing in question takes months to reach the angry people which is apparently what happened. It originally was on for a while and then I guess when it got dubbed it suddenly exploded. Now, I'm not stupid about this. I am sure that there are just generally offended people who just wanted to go out and protest peacefully and that's fine. That's your right. And then there are those just looking for an excuse to hurl a Molotov cocktail. You know the kind. Don't you feel like a man, buddy? I bring this up in reference to uh, a reporter, yeah, Lara. Lara Logan, if you guys remember her. What happened to her really kind of touched a nerve with me because um, I wanted to be a foreign correspondent when I did want to be a journalist, which, again, I have to say that's what I studied. What happened to her was when she was at one of these, like, protests when, like, you know, the Arab Spring was happening, everybody was all up and out there, she was reporting on it. Apparently, someone in the crowd says, Oh, this woman, she's an Israeli. And that is reason enough to fucking rip off her clothes, rape her, do all fucking horrible things to her because she might be an Israeli. Again, I say this as people are looking for an excuse to do harm to this woman. Whatever the fuck it was, they just wanted a fucking reason. They just wanted a reason. They knew she wasn't Egyptian, she looked white. They wanted to have a reason to fucking fuck with her. And I think that that is actually what's happening right now. I think this is what's happening all the time when this shit happens. Why I find this particular incident kind of interesting, and I put interesting in quotes just in case you need it, is that the incident in question came from YouTube. Which, if you know anything about YouTube or the YouTube community, which I'm sure if you're on here you do, you almost have to laugh like, oh my god, they got mad over this? Imagine if they found all that other shit! Woo! If that god fucking awful stupid movie trailer made it justifiable for people to use violence and kill other people. Just imagine, just imagine what would happen if they found all that other stuff. The riots would never stop. But we all know what this is. This is that moment where I basically have to say, suck it up. Oh my god, suck it up. We live in a world where free speech is far more sacred than any of the crap that is offending you. Okay? Sorry. Get the fuck over it. And yes, I'm sorry that I, I said I would try and cut down on the cursing, but I get riled up. This is me riled up. So, I make this video because I feel that we need to proclaim that we will not be intimidated by violence in terms of free speech. And I know it sounds fucking bad because like, oh, you, you, you're defending somebody who's made such offensive stuff? Look, I am a huge advocate for free speech all the way. All the way. You know why? Because people cannot fucking get firebombed by words. Yeah, I could tell you something stupid. I could tell you your religion is dumb, your face is stupid, your daughter is a whore, whatever the fuck it is. The point is, you will never be physically harmed. Your life will never cease to exist because I say an insult to you or something offensive. I think that we need to really put it out there that free speech is something you really have to hold on to. You really have to keep on such a strong grasp of it because everyone at every corner is trying to rip it out from under you and they'll use any means necessary. I will continue to advocate and fight and protest or whatever the fuck it is or do the stupid YouTube vlog which seems like I'm only good for for free speech. Whether it be those retarded rednecks of the Westboro Baptist Church or the rights of offended angry people to go out and peacefully protest whatever the fuck it is 
That's fine. And I will be there to advocate for this. And I will be there to fight for your right to do this. But you will never, ever, ever, ever have the right to use violence to quell those who disagree with you or say something that pisses you off. Okay then, now that I've cleared that out of the way, if you would like to send me your death threat, you could send it to CaffeineJedi at IDon'tGiveAFuck.com. The one with the scariest threat possibly gets an empty can that I plan to send to them. And remember, hold on to it. See you guys.